guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my opinion on the coronavirus, aka COVID-19. I'm sorry, I'm doing something on my phone. That's why I'm looking down. But um, I've gotten this request a lot on Instagram. I haven't posted in almost two months, so... You know, I decided to throw up this up and give my opinion on it. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you know, hit that bell for notifications so you get notified every time I come out with another video. Um, I do want to say before we get started, I'm actually going to be combing my ponytail. I go on my ponytail. So, I'll be looking down in this video, and I'm just looking at something at my phone. So, I'm done with that. But that's why I'll be looking down. So, to get started, my opinion on COVID-19 is that it's not as serious as everyone, like Trump, and everybody's trying to make it to seem. And this is just my opinion. You know, opinions like assholes. Y'all got butts. So, but y'all have one, and give it mine. If you don't like it, nothing I can really do about it. But, um, I feel like it's bad, yeah, because it's a virus, and other people can catch it, and they're saying that it's airborne. But the fact that they're saying in, what, two months, that 128,000 or... 103,000 people have died from it. I think they're trying to make it seem like everyone has it. Like, I feel like if you were to go to the hospital today, they tell you, because you were coughing, you had COVID-19. Um, I don't think it's that serious. Uh, I do believe that, don't get me wrong, I do believe that people are dying from it. I just don't believe that that many people in a two-month span band has died um now here in new jersey i don't know if any of my subscribers live in new jersey but here in jersey we are on a lockdown now it's not it's not like a lockdown lockdown um it's kind of like a we have a curfew like when you were a kid and your mom told you to be home by right now that's basically what we have uh we have i think it's a nine to five curfew if you go out between nine and five, you have to have like this letter that states you basically, my dad has one and it states that he works at a gas station and they open at five and that he has to be there at that time. So if you have something like that, you can go out. But if you don't and you get caught with it here, I mean, and you get caught here in Jersey, you can, um, I think the first two times it's a fine. The second one's higher than the first one. I'm not sure what the fines are. And then the third time you get caught, you go to jail and you have another fine to pay. Um, I'm not sure how much it is. If I can find it, if I can find it, the fine amounts, I will pop it up on the screen somewhere. Um, but, yeah. Now, everything, I know it's like this everywhere but everything is shut down here uh not really like everything everything there are a few things open like the gas stations and some of the corner stores uh shit like kmc and mcdonald's and all of them are open too but you kind of have to do like over the website like delivery um grubhub seamless or takeout which means you go to one of those places and then you order the food from like the drive through window or they have someone outside who will take your order. Um, our Dunkin' Donuts and shit is open, but um, I say I'm a lot if you're new here. So this is something I've done in all my videos. I say I'm a lot. But if you go to like the convenience stores or Dunkin' Donuts, you have to be six feet away. Um, same thing at the shot rights. 
you got to be six feet away and and you have to have a mask on when you go in they also have like these little how do i put it plastic like clear plastic things hanging up in front of them so you're not supposed to go past where the clear plastic is hand your money or swipe your car and then you get your stuff and you leave out uh shaw right like are i think right aids do it too but I know like ShopRite and Walgreens and stuff like that. Every place has a certain limit of people, but you have to, I think ShopRite lets every 25 people in, like every 25 that come out, like if they send 100 people in, every 25 that comes out, 25 go back in. So, yeah. But I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I think it's bad. You know, you should always think the worst when it comes to a virus. But, like I said, 128,000, 103,000, it's a lot of people. In the United States, they're saying, like, this isn't China or any of those other places. It's the U.S. they're saying that many people have died. Um, I don't take the virus lightly, but I don't take it that serious either. I just... Don't think it's that deep. Uh, now a lot of people are going to not like my opinions too much, but that's just how I feel about it. Um, I'm gonna put some clips in after this that I don't very much agree with, and you guys are gonna see what they say and shit like that. And I don't agree with them, so that's that. I know. A lot of you guys have probably been wondering where I've been for the past almost two months. You're right. Ooh, I've been cooped up in the house. But I've been thinking about YouTube and what stuff I want to do on it. And I've decided to change up my content a little bit. Um, There's some more stuff that I'm going to be doing on here that I'm going to tell you guys right now. One of the things I will do on here are react, sorry, tongue tie, are reaction videos. Um, I want to start doing that. Mostly the videos that I haven't seen, because I've seen a lot of videos, and yeah, the ones I haven't seen, I'm gonna do. Uh, I've decided to do like a growing on YouTube type of segment every Friday. Starting next month, I think. Don't quote me on that. Every Friday starting next month, um, I'm going to basically be putting up YouTube videos on how to grow on YouTube. Because as you guys can tell, um, if you've been here before, I've had a lot of channels. I think I've had like, including this one, I've had about five or six. And I've learned some things from it, even though this is the one like I really stuck to. I've learned some things from it, and, you know, I can share that with you guys. I kind of got a little blockage up here for a second, so I forgot what I was going to say. But um, starting next month, like I said, don't quote me on it, every Friday I'm going to be doing those. Um, I told you guys about the reaction. There is something that I'm going to tell you guys about. But I'm going to wait to the end. Um, if I have anything else to say, what else am I going to be doing on here? Oh, yeah. Collabs. I start on, um, I have someone in mind to collab with. Uh, I, we've been talking on Instagram, trying to set it up, how we were going to do it. Because my Apple things really suck. So... I'm going to be doing that with someone. If you guys want to collab on the channel, you can hit me up on Instagram or Twitter I'll, and Facebook. I'll leave those down in the description box below. If you guys have videos you'd like me to do reactions on, you can leave those down in the comment box below. Um, I know you guys are probably wondering what this is. No, I am not. Um, my boyfriend just gave it to me as a present um but 
that anything else besides collabs uh no um yeah i'm gonna be vlogging more once the whole pandemic thing is over and they let us go back to work and do what we do best i'm gonna be vlogging more and i think that's it if there's anything i left out i'll put it in another video or I'll add it at the end, but I think that's it, except for the last thing I wanted to tell you guys about. That is my book. I don't think I put this on here before. I think I said it in like an old, old video last year that <clears throat> I was going to start writing a book, um, and I have started on that process. I'm on page 60, if I'm not mistaken, um, but that was on my laptop. My laptop's acting stupid, so I kind of got to rewrite everything by hand, which will be easy for me because I can just transfer it into my computer, and then I find it easier to write everything down and then express it. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm on page 60 of my book on my computer, but I'm only on page 8 writing. So, um... But I found a publisher based out of California, if I'm not mistaken. It's either California or or Texas. It's one of them. I'm not sure which one. But I found a publisher that I've been talking to over email. I know you guys are probably wondering what's going on with my voice. I don't know. I feel like I'm losing my voice right now. <laughs> but I'm going to, yeah. Now, where was I? So, we've been talking, and I have a little bit of a deadline. I was told by July 6th, but then I got called and was told that I had to have my book done by the end of the year. And then we could meet, and, you know, we could go out and um, talk about the book and talk about where it's going to go and the cover and everything that goes along with the book. So I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on that journey as well. But first I have to, um, you guys wonder what the light is, it's my headphones. But first I have to finish the book. And um, I'm going to take you on the journey of writing it, where I came up with the ideas from and all this is going to be in a whole separate video. There are going to be different videos going along with the process of writing it, getting it published, meeting with the manager, getting the cover, I mean, meeting with the author, getting the cover, all that stuff. So, yeah. If there's anything that you guys want to see me do on this channel, I am game, you know, I take ideas. I think about them and then I might do the ideas. If I don't get to them, it's probably because I've had a lot of ideas. So just keep hitting me up with the ideas for the videos and stuff like that. But I know you guys have been probably wondering where my dentist videos are. And I'll do an update on that soon. I will be doing a lot more videos with the baby girl. Um, I think the last one we did together, she was running around being what I call a menace to society. Um, and she's been coming with her little smurf, um, my nephew. Here's a little picture of them when she was little, little, and I'm sorry, they're talking in the background if you guys can hear them. Um, I call them smurf and smurfette. They've been getting together a lot. He's three, she's one, you know, they can walk, they do all that, get in trouble, everything. So I'm going to do more videos with her, probably sneak a few with my little nephew when he come over. Um... And that's it. If you guys have not yet, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below before we end the video. Hit the bell for notifications. And I will see you guys when I record another video. And I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye. The crisis is far from over. The coronavirus is killing nearly 800 people per day in New York State. The patients who were on ventilators earlier in the outbreak lose their fight. It's a plateau. It has been flattening, but flattening at a terribly high level. As 
New York tries to get a handle of the virus, other hot zones are emerging. In Massachusetts, the number of confirmed cases soaring by 21% over two days. And in Pennsylvania, the governor now predicting a surge of cases this week. Several governors have been critical of the federal government's response. In a tweet Sunday, President Trump suggesting the responsibility of reopening the country falls on the states, writing, Governors, get your state's testing programs and app data perfected. Be ready. The big things are happening. No excuses. The federal government's here to help. Also, gear up with face masks. The tweet comes one day after New York Times report said the House missed a crucial signal about the spread of the virus. According to the Times, in a February 21st meeting, the White House Coronavirus Task Force decided that they would soon need to move towards aggressive social distancing. But the president did not issue stay-at-home guidance until more than three weeks later. During that time, the number of known coronavirus cases in the U.S. skyrocketed from 15 to more than 4,000. Dr. Anthony Fauci acknowledges government inaction cost American lives. Obviously, you could logically say that if you had a process that was ongoing, you started mitigate earlier, you could have saved lives. Obviously, no one is going to deny that. But what goes into those kinds of decisions is, is complicated. But overnight, the president continued to defend his response, calling the recent reports fake news. The president also retweeted a message critical of Fauci. That message he tweeted ended with the words, time to hashtag fire Fauci. No. Um, there are what types that seem to have a lower risk of getting of catching the disease um, that is of testing positive, um, not a lower risk of getting serious outcomes if you do catch the disease. Mm -hmm. We don't know fully why that is, but that is one of the phenomena. So um, the universal donor seems to be a little less at risk, the universal recipient a little more at risk. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.